This is One on One. Normally, this is one-on-one, -on -one, but now we're going one-on-two -on -two with two superstar scholar athletes I'm about to introduce it on camera. Ready for a two-shot? Here we go. We have uh, Stephanie Diascoli, who is with us, and uh, Kyle Glasgow. And they are 2012-2013 Best Teammate Award winners, right? This comes from the Super Essex Conference Teammate of the Year event held at the Yogi Berra Museum and Learning Center. Good to see both of you. Thanks for having us. It's nice to see you. Now, this, uh, our good friends at uh, Investors Bank, Kevin Cummings, I was sitting with him, the CEO, and he says to me, you know that at the Yogi Berra Museum, the great Yogi Berra, they pick the best teammate award. Not just a great athlete, but a great teammate, right? And it's the first time they did this. They picked each one of you. Tell folks exactly what you do. Well, let's go through this. Kyle, you're the captain of the football team? Yes, sir. You, in fact, uh, Stephanie, the captain of your lacrosse team, right? Yep. You're going to college where? Muhlenberg College. And you're going? Illinois College. All right, let's talk about this. I already asked around and found out why they picked you as the best teammate. Why do you think they picked you as the best teammate? Um, because I'm a positive person and I just like to have a smile on my face all the time. There's more to it than that. I heard that when your team is losing, you're down. You still have a positive attitude. You try to get other people up on the team no matter what. Talk about that. Why do you do that? Um, because being a captain, part of being a leader is just always making sure everyone is on their A-game kind of thing, but sometimes it's not your play that drops, it's your like emotions and you're too emotionally invested in the game. So part of being a captain, you just have to make sure that everyone has their, like, their positivity and everything always has to be up at all times. I also heard that you work when no one else is watching constantly. You work and you work and you work. Talk about that. Um, I'm one of those people that like to work, yeah, when no one's watching, so I would prefer to wake up at five in the morning and go for a run or you? stay after practice. Is that you? We're looking at you right there. Yeah, that's that me. better be you and not somebody <laughs> yeah, else. That's me. Yeah, we're just talking about five o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? Like occasionally we have like five a.m. practices where we would go up without our coaches and we would just run practice and we would do sprints or we would just do seven on seven and we like to improve that way. So when we do go to practice, we have questions about what we already practiced on that morning or something like that. So a great teammate is always working. Talk about it. a great teammate is in your case. Why'd you win? I believe I won because of my ability to motivate and ability to inspire. I don't normally look at the stats or victories on the win column. I look at making my team as better men on and off the field. A lot of times, like Stephanie, you may lose and you may be down, but that's when your leadership should show the most. You should show up, motivate, inspire, and even be a helping hand to them. Wait, give me, give me an example. Cause say you got a a freshman, yeah. you're a senior, yeah. you got a freshman or a sophomore that is very caught up in his performance, very caught up to the point where he doesn't get that it's more about the team. You take that kid aside, you do what? I'll just tell them, I was, I was once in your shoes and I had a senior that once motivated me to, motivated me to put everything aside and to slow things down in your mind and that you should focus and you focus on making another person better because there's always a worse situation than you outside in the world. Hold on, you, you're talking a lot about off the field though. That's what's interesting to me. You're saying you'll tell a young man that there's always a worse situation than yours. It sounds like you're talking somewhat about life in some ways more than you are talking about football. Yeah, because in my eyes, I, I never see a more sport that could connect you to the outside world and in life more than football. In football, there's so much adversity you have to overcome by yourself or so that you think. But I think that it's more, it's football is such a team sport. You gotta have all 11 men on the same page. And, if, and you, as the saying goes, you're as strong as your weakest link. Mm. And it's your job to make everybody on the same page, everybody happy, everybody on the same page. Even if, even if it's that little freshman who you think that, <laughs> that doesn't get much attention, the water boys, even he's included on your team. And I do my part to make sure everybody Everybody's together. Where did you learn this? Where did you learn the idea that everyone, I mean, by the way, the same thing is true in a television production. Right. You may be the person out front, but there are really talented, terrific people behind the scenes in that control room, and the, the crew, the camera crew here, writers, people, all kinds of people raising money for the series, all sorts of people you never see. And you have the same idea as well. Where did you get the idea? I'm coming back to you. Where did you get the understanding that a team wins and loses based on a whole variety of factors that go well beyond you, even if you're the leader, captain out front. Where'd you get that? 
Well, for example, if you have like one strong player, but everyone else on the team is not up to their skill level, skill level, and they take over, they're not going to be able to beat twelve other players. It's a team sport, so you have to make sure, like Kyle said, it's you're as strong as your weakest link. So, in practice or games, your biggest competition is your own team. You fight to make each other better. So, like during practice, when people say practice as hard as you play, you really should stick to that saying because you are the ones that make each other better. That's yeah, your where'd competition. Where'd you learn that? Where'd you learn the whole teammate thing? Because we have, we have boys who are, are nine and ten as we do this show, and they play baseball, and I'm one of the coaches on the team, and I'm constantly on them when they give heat to other kids who don't do well on their own team. And I'm saying, are you kidding me? What would you want if you struck out at a critical moment? You wouldn't want them turning on you. And they're like, what? They'll turn on each other. Like, I see that. It really bothers me. Did you get it from parents? Where'd you get this stuff? That's what I'm curious about. Um, I think it comes from all of the mentors and people I looked up to in life, like my parents, my coaches. Everyone has like molded me into the person who I am. So I kind of watch how p other people react and bring it into my own kind of understanding. But I think the best thing comes from all the people you look up to. So I credit that all to my parents and my coaches. Where'd you get your sense of being a teammate from? I watched a lot of sports when I was young. So I watched f soccer, cricket, football, basketball. And the thing is, when you, like pre-game and even post-game, you'll see great leaders like Ray Lewis, great Ray Lewis, even, like, even presidents and leaders, leaders you never heard of, they always talk about everyone. They always talk about being a family, even though they're not related by blood. But in sports, you never see such a bond like that. And that's what draw me, draw me into sports. And watching my parents, my coaches, my teachers, watching how hard they work together, that it doesn't matter wh whether you're related or not, it all, we're all family in our hearts. You know? Do you have a sense, and by the way, what's it like, what was it like for you at the Yogi Berra Museum being compared? Because people would say Yogi Berra was an absolutely great teammate. That's where the idea came from. Yogi's in his 80s, um, but always a great teammate. What was it like for you to be compared to Yogi Berra? It was a great honor to be a part of somebody so legendary like him. And for him to be so great, it wasn't about the championships. It wasn't about the strike, the, home, the strikeouts, the home runs. It was really about how he united his team to win more championships than any individual athlete out there. And for me, to be compared to him, it makes me feel that I'm one step, one step away from being great like him. Hmm. You know you're going to be a leader one day? I know I can. On and off the field? Yes, sir. How about you? I believe it. Sports help you prepare to be that kind of leader? Oh, yeah, definitely. Sports prepare you for a lot of things that life throws at you most of the time because you have to learn how to work hard, how to work harder, and to work basically work hard when you have no energy left. Especially when no one's watching, right? Yep, when no <laughs> one's watching. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie and Kyle, I want to thank you very much for joining us. You are great teammates, and you honor uh, the, uh, the name and the history and the legend of uh, Yogi Berra. And um, thank you for joining us. Thank You're you. welcome. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. Thank you very much. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One has been provided by Activists, the New Jersey Education Association, Investors Bank, New Jersey Natural Gas, St. Peter's University, and by New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System. This program has been made possible in part by Franklin Templeton Investments.